Is it time to start making travel plans for Qatar? On today's episode, we will recap Iran's match with Iraq and preview Iran's upcoming qualifier against the UAE. You know the deal and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Eli Talk. The fans at the Azadi Stadium were ready, and so was Team Meli, the national team of Iran, showing off their new kits. Hey everyone, glad you're back for some more Team Meli talk. Let's take a look at Iran's starting 11 that took the pitch against neighboring rival Iraq. Getting the call in goal, the son of the Eagle of Asia, Amir Abidzadeh. As for the back line, Obi Nur Afkan, Shoja Khaliazadeh, Hossein Kanani, Sadek Moharami. As for the midfielders, Vahid Amiri, Saeed Ezatolahi, and Saman Godus. Up top, on the wings, Ali Reza Jahanbash and Ali Golizadeh. The lone striker up top, Mehdi Taremi. A win would guarantee a spot in the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. How would Iran do? Let's go to the first half highlights. The Iraqis were creating pressure early on and Ahmed Farhan came close to giving Iraq the lead in the ninth minute when his header was stopped by Amir Abidzadeh. Ali Reza Jahan Bash came close in the 11th minute but his shot bounces off the post. We remain nil-nil. Jahan Bash again but first a save from Fahad Talib. Then Talib stops Tarami's rebound. What a double save. Then on the same attack Amiri has a chance to score but Talib makes another stop. An awesome slide tackle and pass from Jahan Bash. He finds Ali Golizadeh, but Golizadeh, of course, is also denied by Fahad Talib. Scoreless at the half and obviously frustrating for Iran, but there was still another half of football. Let's check out the second half highlights. Not even three minutes after the restart, a pass from Jahan Bash, a big mistake from Ahmed Ibrahim, and Mehdi Tarami does the rest. Iran takes a 1-0 lead. The fans at the Azadi Stadium finally with something to cheer about. Ali Reza Jahan Bash with a chance in the 57th minute, but his shot goes wide. Saman Godus with a golden opportunity, but his shot goes wide. Ouch! This is one he would love to have back. Iran keeping up the pressure, and it's Jahan Bash again but this rip is parried by Talib. Iraq looking for the equalizer in the 70th minute, but Abidzadeh stops his left-footed shot from Ayman Hussein. Was Team Eli starting to get a little careless with time winding down? This could have resulted in a goal, but a heads-up play on defense from the man, Vahid Amiri. And that's the way it would end. Iran wins 1-0 and books a ticket to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar it was definitely time to celebrate. Okay, it is difficult to find the negatives when Iran has just qualified to the World Cup for a third consecutive time. But of course, Iran did start off a bit shaky and we saw the Iraqis looking more aggressive early on and we also saw shaky play from Iran's center backs. This free header from Ahmed Farhan was too easy. A lot of work needs to be done from now until the World Cup. And we also cannot forget about Ayman Hussein's scoring chance in the 70th minute. The Iraqis were able to find some open space in the midfield. But overall, everything went according to plan for Iran. And as for the man of the match, not even a debate. The man of the match was Ali Reza Jahanbash. Not only did he get plenty of attempts on goal, but he was aggressive and showed how badly he wanted to win. Bottom line, he is a leader and he continues to get better and better. Also, we cannot forget about Mehdi Tarmi. It was great to see him back on the pitch, and he has now scored three goals in the final round of qualifying for Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Thank you, Mehdi. Great to have you back. The UAE is coming off a 2-0 victory against Syria at home. The United Arab Emirates remain in third place in the group with nine points. What happened the last time these teams played? Iran came out on top with a 1-0 victory in Dubai, Mehdi Tarmi scoring the only goal of the match. Yes, I am going to say it. Iran has never lost to the United Arab Emirates in a World Cup qualifier. 
and I don't expect anything to change when the teams meet at the Azadi Stadium in Tehran. Next, who are the players on the UAE to watch out for? Well, let's have a look. Kayo Canedo of Al Ain and Yahya Al Ghassani of Shahab Al Ahli. Why these two players? Well, they each scored a goal in the 2 0 victory over Syria. The million dollar question What does Iran have to do to come out on top against the UAE? Well, that's very simple. Don't make any ridiculous mistakes. Okay, I'll be serious now. Let's have a look. Number one. Press the UAE defenders. Number two, watch the long ball. Now we know that Iran is much better. And even though qualification has already been clinched, I still expect Team Ali to come out firing on all cylinders when they face the UAE. Now what about you? What are your keys to victory? Leave a comment down below. Always looking forward to getting your input. To finish off this episode, I would like to share my personal message to our Team Ali footballers. Over two years ago, you guys looked down and out after that loss to Iraq. The Asian Football Confederation tried to bring you down in the second round, but you refused to give up. You refused to lose. You fought hard to win, and you fought hard to make the Iranian people happy. Congratulations for qualifying to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Afarin, tabrik migam, ma beshama iftekhar mikonim. And that's it, everybody, for this edition of Team LA Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teamelitalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team LA, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team LA Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. And once again, congratulations to the national team of Iran for qualifying to the 2022 World Cup. Thank you all. I really appreciate the support and stay tuned for some more content. Oh, yeah.